What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of the League SBC to Glory. Today is quite an important episode because it is the first day that we're going to be um, completing some teams, some League SBC teams, three CSL teams. So I've sold uh, Pedro that we packed in a silver pack in the last episode. I uh, sold a couple other items there from some bronze packs. Uh, I have cleared off, opened up and relisted some items a few times here and there. We're still at 37,000 coins. Um, what I want to showcase to you guys today is a little understanding as to footbin the price points of certain teams. And, and this is applicable to all of the leagues, not just the CSL. Uh, and how much we've spent versus how much footbin says we should have spent and how much we could have realistically spent as well. And it was a little bit more difficult for me, specifically uh, towards the back end of when I was doing this on stream because people kept buying the cards that I was bidding on. Uh, but it's important for you guys to make sure that you open bid on certain uh, cards. So if you guys are enjoying the content and you want to drop a thumbs up on the video, it would be very much appreciated. Oh, yes. Um, so we're starting with uh, Shenzhen Kaisa. Uh, now for Shenzhen Kaisa, Footbin says, uh, as you'll see right here, that this team should cost 3.45k on uh, PlayStation and 3.8k on Xbox and 3.4k on, um, on PC. So, um, as I take you through the price first, I suppose, how much did I actually pay? So, we spent 150, 300, 4, 500, 700. Uh, we packed him uh, 850, 11, uh, sorry, 1050, 1400, 1600, uh, 2800, and then 250 for the last striker. So, 3050. Uh, so, I actually did this for 400 coins cheaper than what Footbin said. Now, 400 coins doesn't sound like a lot, but 400 coins out of 3,400 coins is actually about 10 to 12. It's about 13 or 14% cheaper. So overall, if you even uh, kind of take that into consideration for all the teams, Footbin says that the total price is 109,000 for the whole league. If you're doing that 10 or 12 or 15% cheaper, you're actually bringing it down into like the mid to high 80s for the whole league, um, which is great. Now, of course, I had some of these first owner, but that's the whole purpose of the bronze pack method. We're making profit through bronze packs whilst saving on spending on certain cards um, and the reason why i started doing these cards is because i kind of want to explain uh, where to go um, so first of all obviously we've completed this team i only had three first owner cards and um it's you know footbin says it's 3.45 and what footbin typically does or doesn't do should i say is it doesn't crawl the market for bronzes and silvers quick enough so the prices actually are really slow to update uh, and if we take the look in fact let's take a look at let's say uh this squad here that is the apparent cheapest at 3400 um and we take a look at any one of the players so let's take this guy right here now for whatever reason look at that it hasn't updated on xbox for four weeks so you know that this guy isn't 10,000 coins on xbox nor pc i don't know why that's there like that and even on playstation it's been five hours since it was last updated now if you compare that to any gold uh, any gold card, it's usually minutes, 26 seconds ago, 31 minutes ago, and two hours ago. Uh, so it's it's a lot quicker. So if you do use Futbin to help you finish off solutions, keep in mind that don't don't be paying the full price for what Futbin are saying. You can always get it 10% or more cheaper. Um, and then the other thing that's important to notice is how much you're spending versus the pack that you're getting, both the value of the pack and the value of the contents of the pack. So this team right here cost me, what was it, 2,050 coins or whatever, 2,650 coins or whatever it was. There's a small rare silver players pack. So I'm going to get six rare silvers, which at discard or lowest sale price will be worth about 1,800 coins if I sell them all at 300 coins, which is a guaranteed assurance that I'll be able to sell them all at a minimum of 300 coins. So I've paid 2,600 coins or a guaranteed 1800 coins back but obviously the anticipation or the expectancy that we're going to hit one or more cards that are either going to save us coins from purchasing another card somewhere else down the line or make us coins for selling a card now so we're going to open this pack here uh, we're going to get six rare silvers obviously we're looking for any league sbc silver but saudi league and chinese league is primary and look at that we've got four league sbc silvers so we've got johansson from stad or na and this guy right now is worth about 2,000 coins. Um, and so therefore, we've immediately 
even if I discarded the rest, we've made true profit on the amount of coins I spent for the SBC, let alone the other cards that might be expensive. Now, this guy's real cheap at the moment. 650 coins there, not even getting picked up. Um, 350 coins on bid. So I'm actually going to save him. Uh, we've got a French cam. Uh, this guy is selling for, wow, he's quite expensive. That's a really nice card to pick up. He's selling for about three and a half, oh, 2,600. I assume that that 1,600 one will get bought very quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to list him at 2,000. Uh, and that's now 4,000 coins back from this pack, plus one League SBC card. The Argentinian guy probably won't sell. So he's 300 coins. The Swedish guy probably won't sell. Uh, we'll just check his price. Yeah, he won't sell. And then last but not least, the Turkish League guy. Even if he does sell, I would hold on to him. He's not really that expensive, maybe 500 coins, because I am going to do the Turkish League. So we've made, we've added four cards into the club. And we've made true profit on the amount of money that we spent on the team individually. There you go. That Johansson sold straight away for 2,000 coins. That is obviously a big win. And when we move to the next team, um, we then go to... So that's now 1 out of 16 of the CSL completed. And we're only about 4 hours of total gameplay on this account. So obviously that's a, that's a big start, a big win. Uh, so Tianjin Tada are supposedly, according to uh, Futbin here... Um, they are supposedly 4,250 coins right now, and it cost me uh, 150, 350, 550, 750, um, 950, 10, 11, 1200. They're all first owner, 1350, 14, 2000. So this cost me 2000 coins for every player, and I didn't even use one of my first owner players. So 2000 coins instead of. 4,250 coins. So I've done this team over 50% cheaper than the listed bin price. That is a massive saving already. We've saved all together between the two teams about 2,500 coins. Now for this team that cost me exactly 2,000 coins in terms of liquid coins and obviously some bronze packs uh, which have made us profit over time has got us a gold pack. Obviously to make 2,000 coins off of a gold pack is relatively easy uh you can get super lucky i know gold pack method is a genuine way to make coins this year it's just about how and when you sell your cards so we're looking to make 2000 coins as to make guaranteed profit we've got a thousand coins off of that uh, we'll get 200 coins possibly off of that i'll list it a couple of times i might have to discard it we will get some coins off of these fitness cards of course we list them up like always uh, we'll get some coins off of the manager contract uh, these contracts won't sell nor will the coach and then this guy is currently like a thousand coins we're going to hold on to him because it just saves us having to buy him uh the same with this guy here we're just going to hold on to him because it saves us having to buy him. in fact i might try and sell him for a thousand coins because of one of the sbcs that's available today um it's you know it might be worth selling him and on on that note we're going to do today i think if it's going to be smart uh we're going to do uh this guy i'm going to save because he's only like five or six hundred coins so again we've made true profit off of that pack in fact we're up to forty two thousand coins again um, so there is Champions League marquee matchups available. It's only two teams, but you get a 30k pack and a couple of other packs for um, what I think is quite a cheap price. And then last but not least, we've got Wuhan Zhao. Uh, this is supposedly 2.6k from scratch. I paid 200, 400, uh, 600, 750, 800, 900, uh, uh, 1050, 11, 1500, uh, 1850, 19. I paid 2,000 coins. So once again, I did this team almost... 30% cheaper um, than what the listed price is. So once again, we have done all three of these teams considerably cheaper than Footbin has said that we should have done them for, which has already brought down the total price of the whole um, setup by loads. Uh, we've also got ourselves another pack here. I thought, what was that? A, mixed a small Electrum Players pack. So obviously uh, six, six cards, three silver, three gold. And uh, I mean, that is brilliant. Again, we've got three League SBC golds here. We're looking for 2,000 coins, right? Even if I discarded it all, we'd get 2,000 coins. Now, this guy is 650 on bid. Looks like he's about seven, 800 coins. So I'm going to sell him on and get rid of him. We'll take some of those coins back. This guy is a League SBC card. So we're going to hold on to him for the gold. This guy is a League SBC card that we'll hold on to, which is nice. We then get this guy who is another League SBC card, but he's so cheap, we'll hold on to him and it will start working towards that. Gibbs White of Wolves. I don't think he's too cheap, but uh, he's also not super expensive. So that's a thousand coin card there that we don't have to spend on Wolves now. Uh, and then Davis from Villa, I think is quite expensive. Um, yeah, it looks like he's up at maybe about 2,000 coins. 1,500 there. 
And yeah, so because I'm, I know I'm miles away from doing Norwich and Sheffield, I'm actually going to sell him and take another 1,500 liquid coins whilst putting those cards into the club and something else sold as well. So we're now up to 4,300, sorry, 43,000 coins. Um, there you go, that Laborde sold and that French cam sold as well. So, you know, we have made another good amount of coins. We started off with 9,600 coins. We're already up to 43,200 coins. We've got 95 items on the transfer list. We've got 274 items in the club now, including a whole bunch of golds. Um, oh yeah, we packed him out of marquee matchups, didn't we? So that's another guaranteed 10,000 coins there. I wonder if Kovacic is worth something right now. He is. He's a few thousand. We might... Oh, he's actually not that much. Uh, we might have to use him anyway. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we're in a truly, truly great spot with pages of golds already. F nearly five full pages of gold cards. Loads and loads of silvers already. Of course, some of them are untradeable. Uh, so what's that? Four or five pages of uh, silvers untradeable. Um, and then again, loads and loads of bronzes. So we've got about 100 gold and silvers. And so almost 200 bronzes. Um, and we've only been on this account for a little amount of time. So as I said, there's a few SBCs that I actually want to do today. Uh, and SBCs I think you guys should do that are good value. So there is the Winter Refresh Challenge. Um, let me go and add that into favorites. Uh, there, this one here, the wait is over, I'm not going to do. It's 11,000 coins for a 25k pack. Now this is where I wanted to talk to you about the true value of a pack. You, you have to assume at this stage with so few coins and so few cards in our club, we have to assume that we're going to get the worst of a pack, right? So we're going to get three rares and nine commons. We're lucky to make four to 5,000 off the commons and 3,000 off the rares, which means we're going to be lucky to make 8,000 coins if we get the worst pack. For us to pay 11,000 coins for this pack, unless we hit something really nice worth, you know, one thing worth three or 4,000 coins or several things worth 1,000 or so coins, we're eating into a loss, you know, and I don't want to take that risk. Not at this stage. If I had 100,000 coins, it's a risk I'd take. If I had 200,000 coins, it's a risk I'd take. At 43,000 coins, I'm looking to make coins and, and attain players, I'm not looking to lose coins uh, like stupidly. However, the Winter Refresh Challenge for a Jumbo Gold Pack, which is a 10K pack, it's apparently 4,000 coins from scratch. Um, same league is a minimum of seven. Same nation is a maximum of one. And the overall rating is 74 with 70 chemistry. So we have got um, a lot of leeway with what we can do here. So I'm going to go and build this uh, in just a second. And I'm also going to go and build um, the UEFA marking matchups because this is 21k from scratch. Gives you a 30k pack, um, the small prime gold players pack and a rare mixed players pack. So you're going to be getting 30 players in total, um, mostly golds for 21,000 coins of course, we're going to try and do it cheaper, 16, 15,000 coins. That for me is as a win. You're going to guarantee to make one, two, three thousand coins just selling things at their lowest possible prices. So I'm going to go and build all of these for as cheap as possible um, and hope that we come out on top. So I will be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, this cost me a little bit more than I thought it would. I tried my best to do it like some some cool ways, some fun ways, some cheaper ways. Um, but it just didn't happen like that, you know. So we end up spending um, a little bit more than I wanted to. I think I've spent about 20,000 coins in total, but I'm due about five or 6,000 of them back. Um, I'll explain why in a second. I think even on here. Yeah, so for example, I bought Stepanenko for 750 coins. I don't need him anymore. Um, so I'm just going to go and list him back up. And I bought him, like I sniped him cheap, basically. So we'll be able to even make a couple hundred coins off of him, which is nice. And there's a few other players quite like that. Um, so for the Dortmund PSG setup, which Footbin is saying is about 20,000 coins to finish, we paid 700, 1100, uh, 4100, uh, first owner there, um, 51, 60, so was that 5900, um, 6450, 6850, 78, 8650 with Marlos, um, 9650, about 10,500. Uh, 11,000, about, about 12,000, and then Haaland, the first owner. So we paid about, unless my math was like way off with a few little things there, about 12,000 coins. Um, so Footbin says, as I say, 17,000 and then 19,000. So I did this for way cheaper, 5K cheaper, but we paid 12,000. And of course, we uh, used some items in the club that we could have sold. That is to be 
considered, but we're just talking about liquid coins right now. And then for this one, uh, Footman says 6.7k for the Premier League. We paid 750, uh, 850, so that's 1600, uh, 2000 right there. First owners, 2,700, 3,400, uh, and then 4,100. So we only paid 4,100. So we've got this one about 2,000 cheaper. So altogether, it cost us about 16,000 coins. Uh, so we need to make not only 16,000 coins back, but also like some of the value of the things that we um, used that were a bit more expensive. So I accidentally bought Gustavo, sold him on. I accidentally bought Noble. I think Gustavo I bought for 750. So I made a few coins there. Noble I bought for 500, made a few coins there. Uh, the cat chem style sold and a few other items sold, which is good because I need some trade pile space. Um, but in terms of players in the club, uh, a few that I've listed back up that I'm waiting to sell on again. Uh, where are they? Page nine. Um, oh, it's just Stepanenko that's left, which means I must have put a couple back into the club. Uh, let's have a look at the golds. Uh, let's go like this. So there you go. Diego Jota, uh, we already purchased before for 500. It's actually not a bad deal for him. Um, and then Barkley, I picked up for 700. Uh, I, I don't want to list him right now just because I've, I haven't got much trade pass space left. Ashley Young and Barak, uh, Abdul Hamid, uh, we p picked up those guys uh, and didn't end up using them. Omeru, we, uh, sorry, Omeruo, we picked up him and didn't end up using him. Um, so we've got about two and a half to 3,000 coins worth of players in the club that we bought. Uh, that we just don't didn't need at the time. We'll hold on to them for the time being. But of course, we are looking to make back, I'd say, um, you know, 16,000 coins to cover the coin uh, spend and then probably about another four or 5,000 to cover the player spend. So we're looking to make about 20,000 coins off of these packs right here. Mascherano is a brilliant one, isn't he? Oh no, that's Mas he's changed now to Estudiantes, so he's not really worth that much. Uh, Bundesliga Harrit, he could be worth a nice amount. Um, I'm, I'm going to list him up straight away i reckon we'll get about i oh know he's 800 coins jesus he's mad cheap and then savanier he's coming in at about a thousand so he's cheap i'll keep him as well we get a leche player which is real nice uh we'll hold on to him that's a thousand coins ish uh polish league player which i don't think we'll be selling right now although i could be mistaken because he's portuguese no he's not really that expensive either so we'll hold on to him and then the dutch league player um he's uh he's a 500 or so coins uh, and then we've got a Chinese league player, which is nice. He's about seven, eight hundred coins. And another Chinese league player, it looks like he's about 400 coins. So even at discard price, we'd make 4K back off of this. Uh, at sale price, I think we're looking closer to about seven or 8K. Um, so let, let, let's let's call it 7K um, of our 20 needed back. And that, of course, is the worst. Um, the worst pack to start with, of course. Uh, we then get the small prime gold players pack, uh, which will make probably, I don't know, depends. Oh, Mario Goetze. Oh, that's actually really nice. Mario Goetze will get 1,500. I bought him in the first place and we'll, we'll list him back up and we'll get 1,600 back for him. Uh, Harry Winks is a good one because Spurs players are also up there at about 1,500 coins as well. Um, so we'll sell him straight on and get rid of him. Uh, Achim Pong is not very valuable right now. Andreas Pereira. Uh, looks like about a thousand coins. Do you know what? How much trade pile? I've got enough. I'll sell him straight away. Uh, try and get some coins back for him. Uh, Aina here we'll keep hold of. And uh, Liraga there we'll keep hold of as well. Just for a couple of League SBC cards. Uh, and that leaves us with the rare Electrum Players pack. Um, you know, basically we need a little something. We're not going to get boards out of this. So we get really bad luck out of all three of those packs. We're not going to get anything out of this. Um, we get an Adderies, we get a Lozano, could be worth a, a little chunk right now. So yeah, he's worth about 2,000 coins by the looks of things. So we are doing okay with getting some of our coins back here. Um, what else we got? Sushek here. He's not worth anything. This guy's worth a fair bit right now. Yeah, he's worth about 1,500 coins. Bundesliga left mids are going for a nice chunk. So we're doing all right out of this. We are getting plenty of our coins back. Um, Lukaku's not selling. Adderies probably isn't selling. And then as I've just seen here, we've got a Genoa goalkeeper, which is 700 coins. Uh, we've got, he's worth nothing, a Turkish league centre-back, who's worth not all that much. Uh, Akin Fenwa, which is brilliant. Uh, what a pack, what a player to get there. Uh, Lindgren there, who's not really selling for much. But we did get ourselves a Norwich centre-mid. Uh, they're not crazy, crazy expensive anymore, but another couple thousand. And I'll hold on to him. I'm not going to sell him. He's one of those important ones I think we're going to need to hold on to over time um so popping more players in the club so in terms of total equity we definitely made profit out of all of that um just not quick enough i suppose 
uh now the grind goes on so we're gonna now just do the um the winter refresh so this is a nice and easy nice and cheap setup to to put together um so i am just going to go and put it together and get that jumbo gold pack and see if we can make some profit here as well so i'll be right back all right guys welcome back uh so i ended up spending 1950 coins on this uh, SBC. Uh, some of the cards already had first owner so uh, this guy he's literally 700 coins and 82 rated helps with the rating and rondon is needed for the rating too and uh, although he is a league sbc card i've done the csl enough to know that he is a 400 to 500 coin player so that's not a problem there uh, zimmerman is first owner and untradeable uh this jao moutinho i picked up for 300 coins and he's pivotal and same with endo uh 200 coins and very important uh, gutierrez for 350 uh, Medin Yanin for first owner and Tuomasi first owner as well, but he's only 200 coins too. Uh, Hernandez or Chicharito for 500 coins and Ru Ruiz Diaz uh, for 400 coins. Uh, so we spent 2,000 coins for a 10k pack basically. Um, and we get to complete the SBC setup as well, which I'm obviously very, very happy with. Uh, I'm hoping that's the player that I just bought that sold. No, so that's a Gertz that sold. So uh, I bought another another midfielder uh, for 350 and I'm listening back up for 450 to try and get rid of him. Um, now, you might be thinking, this is League SBC to glory and these aren't League SBCs, which would be correct. But these are also a super important part, like the SBCs in general of just continuing, you know, like Bronze Pack Method is also not League SBCs, but it's just very important in terms of like building your club up um, so we'll just check uh, a couple of prices on these just in case some of them are in footman solutions or just like massively pumped for price. Uh, this guy at 1,000 coins right now is quite cheap, but I'm sure he'll go up in price. Stanislas is probably quite expensive. Uh, so he's looking at about 1,500 coins right now. So we'll sell him on, which is very nice. Uh, Mitrovic is maybe 800 coins. Damian might be worth a bit, but we'll hold on to him for League SBC. And uh, Nagy here, probably not worth much. and is not worth much at all. So this stuff here can go. Uh, do we get a good uh, set of content out of this? So we're going to make profit here again, obviously, of course. Uh, contract manager, contracts, fitness, and uh, squad fitness will sell. Player healing won't sell, uh, in my experience. Did we not get a single chem style? <clears throat> that's very interesting. We didn't get a single chemistry style, so that sucks. Um, but we, we will end up making some good money off of that as well. So I know our coin balance, once again, is a lot lower. Uh, once that trade pile clears, we'll be in good shape. And we're now almost at 300 players. With once again, uh, probably close to six pages of gold cards now. Um, page five there into page six. We have almost 60 reg like tradable gold cards, which is absolutely fantastic. So for the rest of today's episode, it's just going to be me showing you some um, some uh, trade pile clears. Every time the trade pile uh, resets, uh, I'll come on just to show you guys what's sold. Uh, I'll carry on opening bronze packs in my own time. Um, but yeah, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so to end off uh, today's video, I have completed the marquee matchups. Uh, there is also a marquee moments. Uh, I'm currently on 31,000 coins, but we're in a really healthy spot. Uh, we sold some of the golds that were relevant to last week's marquee matchups. We packed um, a Union Berlin player, a Paderborn player, uh, and then a few other things, and we managed to sneak out one more fitness card for 5K, which is obviously very nice. Those accidental buyers are, are really good. The club is in a really healthy spot now. We're up to 430 players. Uh, the reason being for that is because I'm now at a point where the account is so sufficient that we are saving every player. Um, you know, we didn't have, like initially when we had 10,000 coins, it was important to try and sell everything to try and get as many coins in as possible. But because we're up to 450 players, um, because we have, uh, you know, a good balance to work from in terms of coins, but also a really good base to work from in terms of players, um, there's no real need anymore to keep trying to sell everything. Um, so for today's episode, we're going to finish off with the marquee matchups. There is, a, I believe there's a marquee moments there as well. So we'll go and uh, finish that one off too. Um, I just wanted to show you guys what I was doing with the cards, basically. Um, and then, yeah, let's get into these five packs to start with. So I spent about eighteen to 20,000 coins on marquee matchups, uh, which I don't mind because we get a 35k pack, a 25k pack, a 15k pack, and then two, a premium and a prime election players pack. So loads of content, loads of consumables and loads of players to be put back into the club. Um, this is the last sort of like hour of winter refresh before the shapeshifters comes in. So we won't pack any, uh, any potential, um, that's really nice for Bundesliga, isn't it? Any potential, uh, shapeshifters and such today, uh, we get a Torino goalkeeper there. I'll sell him. I'm not close to being able to work on the Serie A yet. So we'll take a couple thousand coins for him. The rest of the cards we'll just save for the time being. Um, but yeah, I think 
I, I want to make sure that we make big progressive steps per episode now instead of just bronze packs, bronze packs, bronze packs. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are kind of at that stage where you're just making a lot of coins off of bronze pack method and you don't particularly know what to do next or where to go. So I want to try and get there as quick as possible to help you guys with that. Um, I get a Sassuolo center back there as well. I'll hold on to him. He's only like 1,500 coins right now. Um, probably even less. There's so many on the market. So we'll hold on to him. I don't need to make the coins back from him. Uh, that leaves us with a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. Now, of course, it's all luck, right? It's all luck. But if we get hit a Hunter or a Shadow, we've got a board. So our first board card is coming. No walkout. Uh, but I believe... Oh, no, we did get a board with the Inform, didn't we? Which we've got sat in the club as well. A 10k card there. It's 85 rated, a Cardi. That is brilliant. We'll take the nine or so thousand coins from him. Uh, and that pays for literally half of the money we spent on marquee matchups. Um, on top of the uh, on top of the two thousand coin card and fourteen hundred coin card and the rest of the items that we've got in here, that's it. We've we've made profit off of marquee matchups. Um, with oh my god, there's a hunter there as well. We've made big profit off of marquee matchups. We're we're going to end up making a killing um, off of this setup right here, which is absolutely brilliant. That can go. Even the CDM to CM is a, a pretty pretty uh, valuable card, which is nice. Uh, the, I think the Hunters are still like 15k right now, aren't they? Oh, damn, they are way down. They're down at 10k. That's crazy. Well, I mean, it's still like 10k, right? Uh, which is banging. So just this 15k pack alone has made us our liquid coins back and enough profit to be considered to the point where we made money. Um, we put some more players into the club, more golds into the club. Uh, we've got a premium gold players pack and a mega pack to go. So we are making very serious profit. That's another board as well. Is it going to be a good board? It's an inform walkout. Let's go, EA, man. Polish. Centre back. Let's click. Hey, it's an inform walkout. Oh, you know, if it was human son, it would have been terrible. We get ourselves an 85 rated inform right there. That is really nice. Anything else in here? Yes, anything else in here. There's also an 85 Berkey in here. So this marquee matchups has been genuinely phenomenal for us. Is Glick selling for much? I'll try and sell him on uh, for around that. If we have to drop it down a little bit, fair enough. Uh, we'll put all of this stuff back into the club. Uh, is there anything here that's mad expensive? Not really. And then Lulich can go in there as well. That is brilliant, guys. Absolutely brilliant. And then a mega pack still to go as well. So marquee matchups has proven to be really, really effective for me. We get another board out of this pack as well. It's going to be no walkout, just a board. It's a German board. Come on, Sule. Be Sule. Ozil? Oh, Draxler. Do you know what? It's been an age since I remember packing Draxler. Um, is he even worth it? Oh, Otamendi in there as well. So two boards in there. So Draxler's up at like two and a half, three K. Uh, so we'll pop him up like that. Otamendi's usually a good one as well because Premier League. Yeah, he's up at like three and a half, four k. Um, so again, some really good coins back there. Um, anything else here? Gulam's a nice card to get. Well, let me let me just throw these up here without selling them straight away. Some squad fitness cards, which is nice. A shooting chem style or position modifier, which is nice. A cam to centre forward and a cam to centre mid, which is brilliant as well. Um, that again was another fantastic pack. By the time everything sells. We are going to be in a very, very healthy position. I think we're going to be closing in on 100,000 coins. You might think not, but let's ignore the bronze cards. Let's ignore everything that's dead on the transfer market for just a few hundred coins here or there. We're going to get about 10,000, 12,000, 22,000, 32, 42, 47-ish. So there's about 50,000 coins worth of stuff here. That puts me up to about 80k or so after tax. And then with this stuff here as well, uh, there's probably not quite 20Ks there, but it's not going to be far off. So yeah, we are going to be getting very, very close to 100,000 coins, 500 players. And it's all done from bronze packs, guys. Nothing else. Just a little bit of marquee matchups. Uh, as I say, I know there's a marquee moments there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do the marquee moments. Um, what do we got? So one to watch upgrade. Mar there you go, marquee moments. So this is only for a premium mixed players pack, but these are usually really, really cheap and really, really easy to uh, to do. So same league, minimum five. One club, maximum three. Uh, one Champions League or rare player. Five golds. And uh, chemistry of 65. So the five golds is quite uh, quite extortionate. It's never usually that many golds. But let's go to our French League. Um, we'll pop him in. We'll pop him in. We'll pop him in. Now we did need a couple of rares, didn't we? We'll pop him and him in. So that's our five golds done. And the chemistry is never really too bad on this one. Yeah, it's only 65 chemistry. So for chemistry, we're going to be absolutely fine 
uh, no question about it. He can go up there. Um, he can go in there. The same league minimum five, and that's our minimum five. That's also our chemistry. And so for the rest of this, we can just get away with absolutely anything we want. Um, we'll just go to the uh, English League 2. We'll go down to the bottom end of the players. And we'll pop him in. We'll pop him in. And we'll pop the other two in. So loads of bronzes in there as well. Um, which, again, brilliant for the bronze pack method. Helps us massively. Gives us only a premium mixed players pack. The fact that you've got to trade in five golds for that, I, I don't particularly think is great value. Um, but... Hey, it is what it is. So here we go, guys. Uh, let's get into our my pack section. One premium mixed player pack to end off today's video. Of course, if you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, let's see if we get any big players out of this. No, not particularly. A couple, couple, a uh, couple other cards here that aren't too bad. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.